So the House of Representatives on Wednesday approved on the third and final reading a bill reinstating absolute divorce in the country. So you had it before, I guess. Mm -hmm. With 131 affirm huh? Maybe the amendment. No, that's a divorce. With 131 affirmative votes, 109 negative votes, and 20 absentees, the chamber passed House Bill HB 9349 or the proposed Absolute Divorce Act. L. Bay Rep. Edsel Legman, author of the bill, said its third reading passage signifies a significant shift in social toll attitudes towards marriage and relationships. Mm -hmm. Legman said by legalizing divorce, <clears throat> the Philippines acknowledges the need to provide options for individuals trapped in unhappy and irreparable marriages. What's irreparable? Well, it's when you just don't want to be together anymore and there's no fixing it. And mm -hmm. irreparable or what is it? Ir irreparable. You know, they're, they're done with each other. They don't want to be with each other. They don't want to live together. They don't. You know, they don't they're done trying. Can. They've tried everything that they could try. As the only country in the world besides the Vatican where divorce is still illegal, this is a clear and resounding victory and signals the imminent liberation for Filipino wives who are entombed in toxic, abusive, and long dead marriages, Legman said. <clears throat> Legman clarified that the bill does not recognize no fault, quickie drive through, email, or notorial divorces as there are limited and reasonable grounds for divorce and a petition will have to undergo judicial scrutiny to prevent abuse and collusion of the parties. The bill stipulates the grounds for absolute divorce which include psychological <laughs> psychological mm -hmm. incapacity ir irreconcilable Man, they got to make these legal words differences. Um, domestic or marital abuse. When one of the spouses undergoes a sex assignment, sex reassignment surgery, or transitions from one sex to another, and separation of the spouses for at least five years. Mm -hmm. The grounds for legal separation under the family code of the Philippines can also be considered grounds for absolute divorce. So these legal separations under the family code in the Philippines are physical violence or grossly abusive conduct directed against the petitioner, a common child or a child of the petitioner, physical violence or moral pressure to compel the petitioner to change religious or political affiliation, attempt of respondent to corrupt or induce the petitioner, a common child or a child of the petitioner to engage in prostitution, final judgment sentencing the respondent to imprisonment of more than six years, wow. drug addiction, habitual alcoholism or chronic gambling, homosexuality of the respondent, contracting by the respondent of a subsequent bigamous marriage. What's that mean? Means he's married legally to one and he's married to other women too. Oh, like that. Well, you know, they go stand underneath the sky and say that the Lord married him. Mm -hmm. uh, marital infidelity or perversion or having a child with another person other than the one spouse during the marriage. Mm -hmm. Attempt by the respondent against the life of the petitioner, a common child, or a child of the petitioner. So they attempt to <clears throat> take, take their life. <clears throat> Abandonment of petitioner by respondent without justifiable cause for more than one year. The following grounds for annulment of marriage under the family code of the Philippines. Let me drink some water, my children. Mm -hmm. yeah. This you want to read for? Are also ground for 
Absolute up here. divorce. Up here. Yeah. <clears throat> Under uh, no. oh, the, follow the following grounds for annulment of marriage under the family code of the Philippines are also um, grounds for absolute divorce, <clears throat> lack of parental consent, insanity, yep. fraud, 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 force, force. intimidation, or undue influence. Was that importance? Undue well. influence and impotence. Uh, not being able to have sex. And sexually transmissible disease. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the bill provides that a valid foreign divorce secured by either the foreigner or Filipino spouse has the effect of a divorce in the country without going through the ju judico process. A petition for absolute divorce shall be filed with the proper family court by the petitioner or joint petitioners within 10 years from the occurrence or discovery of the cause for divorce. <coughs> <coughs> the proper family court shall exercise all efforts to reunite and reconcile the concerned spouses during the mandatory 60-day cooling off period after the filing of the petition. The cooling off period shall not apply in cases involving acts of violence against women and their children or attempt against the life of another spouse or a common child or a child of the petitioner. Mm -hmm. Upon expiration of the cooling off period without the parties having re reconciled, the court shall immediately commence trial and is mandated to decide the petition within one year. Legman said that at any time during the proceedings that the parties agree to reconcile, the petition is dismissed. Even after the insurance of an absolute divorce decree, when the parties decide to re reconcile, the divorce decree shall be nullified. Nullified? What does that mean? It shall be nullified. Well, be annulled? Well, yeah, pretty much. The decree will be annulled and you won't be divorced anymore. <laughs> so what it sounds like to me is that it says even after the assurance of an absolute divorce decree, which means you already went through all the divorce, mm -hmm. got the paperwork, you're divorced. When the parties decide to reconcile, the divorce decree shall be nullified. So instead of having to go get remarried again, you just go down to get it nullified, I guess. Mm -hmm. So if we got married and then we got divorced and then we decided to get back together, we didn't have to go get married again. We just go down and get the divorce now. Oh, <laughs> I guess that's the way. That's the way I'm reading it. Whether I'm right, I don't know. Uh, the decree of absolute divorce shall have the effect of judicial dissolution of a marriage, where the divorced spouses return to their status of being single, with the right to contract marriage again. <clears throat> a divorce decree shall include provisions for the care, custody, and support of children, protection of the uh, legitimate, a person's property that cannot be transferred to a stranger, termination, and liquidation of the conjugal partnership of gains, or the absolute community, and alimony for the offended spouse. So if you get divorced, you can get alimony. Your ex-husband has to pay you alimony for so many years. Alimony, like alimony yes. you have to give you money every month. For that, for, for and that would be up to the course to decide how much. You give a money for for the sustain to the kids or. No alimony for the wife. Alimony is the wife, not child support. Alimony. Why wife is there or this? Well, they can apply for it, and if the judge agrees that she deserves to get alimony from her ex-wife, or from her ex-husband, then he has to pay her alimony over whatever a lot of time that they say it is. I think it's, uh, I'm not sure. I've never had to do it, so I'm not sure. It might be when you just have children or something. But, you know, it is also, I believe, concluded with child support. So what if the husband or, yeah. 
How can I hear you with your hand over? What if the husband, I mean, oh, the wife, uh, the husband, his income is like, is not enough for him? Well, that's why it'll be up to the judge and the court to decide how much, if you get any at all. Mm -hmm. You know, if you make more than your husband does, he more than likely won't have to pay you. Mm -hmm. But that, that does happen also, so. It's really hard to have a lot of requirements. So if you get married and you have a divorce, you have to make sure that you have a lot of money. Right. Money. Well, it Does costs a lot of money to get divorced too. It might even cost you more money to get divorced than get the annulment done. I don't know. The annulment is how much? Uh, I don't know. I didn't say how much. But when the payment of divorce is, I think, is really expensive. and. Aside of that, you need to, you have an obligation to pay. Every, well, the alimony and the child support. Yeah, child support. Whereas the annulment doesn't do that, does it? If you get an all here in the Philippines, do they, rec do they say, well, you have to pay child, the husband has to pay child support or mm. alimony? Do they do that in annulments? Hey. Uh, I didn't tell you. Only the child support. I don't know. You don't know about the child support? I know about? about the child support, so that's what I heard, but about the Illinois. Illinois? For the mothers? Alimony. For, I, alimony, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, alimony. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they, did you put child support on there? Yeah, that's what but I heard. But nobody ever pays it? Mm-hmm. It depends. Because the woman never go and tell the judge they never pay or something? Or what? Mm -hmm. That's what I hear. Yeah, mostly. Oh, interesting. So I don't know if it's going to be a big deal if they uh, go back to having divorce here in the Philippines. It's a big deal. You think it's bigger than the annulment? It's going to be more stricter than the annulments? Oh, yeah. If you annul, in my idea, uh, hey Bruce. Hello, brother Bruce. Shooting Star MS. Good evening. Good morning, there. <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> for coming. How are you? So you think it's a big deal to have a divorce instead of annulment? Uh, instead of annulment, I think they are the same. No, not really. No. Not really. I mean, because the divorce, it's always on your record that you were married. You were married. Mm -hmm. I become single. You become single. I think the annulment kind of wipes it out, doesn't it? Annulment, doesn't that just kind of wipe I it out? I got the annulment also, same. It doesn't show up on your record as being married or anything? I'm doing okay. Thanks for asking. So how's the weather there? Weather bros. Thank you so weather. much. The weather. It's winter there, it's in Australia. It's not winter there. Summer? Summer. Uh, oh, I didn't know. It's it's not know. in Australia. Yeah, that's why I said <laughs> in Australia is a winter oh, yeah. time. That's good. And so you, th you don't think it's a big deal? It's a big deal. Well, what's going to make it a big deal? What's the big difference? I thought it's the, it's the same, but the problem is if you have are annulled, you have to pay also the alimony. Is that alimony? If you get annulment, you don't have to pay alimony. Divorce? Maybe. I didn't hear that one, that if you are annulled, you have to have a child support. 